slide 7, the embryonic period with 3. Item 1. The third week is marked by the formation of the trilamina embryonic disc, that the process of gastrulation. Item 2. The inner layer of the disc is termed endoderm, the middle layer mesoderm, and the outer layer ectoderm. Item 3. A mid sagittal groove appears as a result of invagination of the ectoderm centrally and simultaneous elevation of ectodermal tissue alongside the groove to form the neural folds. These folds then fuse with each other in the midline, beginning at the junction of the future brain and spinal cord to form the neural tube. Item 4. A population of ectodermal cells adjacent to the neural folds are not included in the overlying surface that is the somatic ectoderm gives rise to the formation of the neural crest. Item 5. These neuroectodermal crest cells are believed to migrate widely throughout the developing embryo in a relatively silvery enriched extracellular matrix and differentiate into a wide array of cell and tissue types influenced by the local environment. Most connected tissue and skeletal tissues of the cranium and face ultimately come from the derivatives of these neural crest cells. Failure of these cells to migrate to the face gives rise to Treasure Collins syndrome. 